Good job. How are you? How's everybody? <laughs> Welcome to Tapping In with Gary Spivey. Thank you for joining me. And I got all kinds of stuff to talk about. I don't have a clue as what it might be, but I'm sure I got something to tell you. And so this was a crazy week where if you were alive on the planet Earth, somebody attacked you. Somebody probably were, were, were they kind of were like a little grumpy and they just blew steam off at you. And so, and this has been going on for two or three weeks now. And, and so, so people are just kind of a little, little touchy, right? <laughs> and so, and the more you make fun of them when they're like that, the more pissed they get. <laughs> so it seems so don't do that okay i tried like two or three different methods and i was like oh my god you're a little angry aren't you you little angry devil you and and uh, that didn't work that didn't work out so good uh and so so then you you can you have, you have to listen until they wind down you have to kind of go oh my god oh and you know and then then um you know, you want to go to the poor, pathetic thing vibe. Okay. And so, and, and so, oh my God, you're such a pitiful, poor, pathetic thing. No, you can't say that either. That'll piss them off. So, so you got to be very careful what you say. You got to be very careful what you say when people will get, get upset with you these days. And so you don't want to do something that's not exactly perfect. And so, because we're all perfect, right? All you guys are perfect like me, right? We're all perfect. <laughs> Like Tenoch, Tenoch, you're the only one that's not quite perfect, buddy. Where are you? <laughs> Let's beat Tenoch up. We hadn't beat Tenoch up in a while. What's up with that? He's hiding behind a blank screen. So Tenoch, how'd your week go? Anybody, anybody get in your face? Tenoch is muted. He's not talking to you, Gary. He's not talking. What's up with that? What's up with that? Why don't he talk? He's hiding. He fell down, it looks like. Oh no, no, I, I no, I had a great week, Gary. Oh, you <laughs> had only a, a few week. fights. Only a few fights with a few people. So it wasn't that bad. A little, little scratch here, a little bruise there. But otherwise yeah, but pretty see, good. I, I know you're like a black belt in about twelve different directions or something like that. <clears throat> you know, and I've seen you like punch things and whatever. I think everybody around you around you knows that you'll just beat them up. And so I think that's what that is. <laughs> you know. So it's unfair to ask you this question. See, if everybody knew in my world that I would just, you know, kung fu them, I think they would, you know, wouldn't wouldn't be grumpy. I think, I think so. You know, Michelle, how's everything going? Anybody pick on you this week? Hi. No, I'm good. I'm I'm here in Tennessee. Dean's with huh? you, so I'm glad. He's oh, you're in Tennessee. So ten oh, you went mute, Gary. Uh oh. I went on mute. Where'd I go? <laughs> Oh, oh, there we are. Now, everybody's na nice in Nashville, Tennessee, right? Yes, it's so yeah. nice over here. The weather it was is. perfect today. It is. You know, everything, I have to say, I do see see this little grumpy thing, but here's what happens. I, you know, I, I figured this out. You have, you know, a, a while back, I was always talking about this line of demarcation. Uh, the line of demarcation, if you're below it, you're going to get beat up. If you're above it, you're going to be living your heaven on earth existence. So it's very, very important. And I hope all you guys are above it. And I hope you meditate. Uh, and I hope you go very, very high always. And as long as you stay up in this high vibration, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. And, and so did, did anybody get beat up? I want to hear some drama. Anybody get beat up? Let me know. Let me know in the, in the chat if, you, if anybody got, had, had a little round with one of their crazy family members or something this week. Jeannie Raven's like me. <laughs> oh, Jeannie Raven's got that? Yes. Yeah. Really, let me talk to her. Let's see what's up with her. What she got going? She's about the most Bambi-like person I know. She's like one. Who could right, be Jeannie, mad with her? her. Jeannie. Who could be angry with Jeannie? Wow. Who, Hi, Jeannie. Who? Can you hear me? Yeah, girl, I can. Hey, hi. Yeah, actually, you know, I didn't have, um, I didn't have, I, I didn't have anybody that I know of get angry with me, but I did get like attacked yesterday really, really bad where, um, you know, you, I, you had cleared me, um, and healed me, cured me from fibromyalgia like nearly 10 years ago. And I think it'll be 10 years uh, next month. Great. And, um, but yesterday, man, out of the blue, it just hit me. I got a flare up that I hadn't had for that many years. Wow. That's crazy. So you got attacked from something in the cosmos that landed on you, right? Yeah. yeah you, want to, you want me to get rid of it? You ready to get rid? You ready to get real hot? Yes. <laughs> okay. There we are. Okay. Now I'm just bringing down and I want you to ask for your big giant God self say, 
God. Please, please, God, give me my big giant God self. Say please, that. He's giving me my big giant God self. Okay, there it goes, right into your body. How warm you feel? Oh wow, yeah, very. It's like yeah. I'm, like I'm at the spa. <laughs> right there we go. I see you starting to sweat a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Uh, no, a lot of it, right? And so, is that some current or what? Yeah, That's some yeah. like, yeah, right. And so, so I figured out. Here's what I figured out. I figured out that that if you get below it, if you if you find your vibration somewhere below it, and they're on top of you, beating you up, right? All you, instead of tapping out and saying, "Oh, I lose," right? All you got to do is say, "God, give me my big giant God self." And so, and all you guys can do this right now, and you guys are going to be way above it, and you're going to feel really, really good. And that's a little spiritual trick here that, that I figured out. And so just say, God, please give me my big, giant God self. And then imagine this big, giant God self coming down from above and slipping into your body. And there we go. Okay, so most <sighs> importantly, though, happy, yep. happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy thank birthday. you. Thank you. Yeah, today's well, my birthday. I appreciate you very much. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate you too. And I, you know, and I, I finally, I think I'm 47. And so there we are. So I'm, I'm kind of old getting up there, you know? And so, <laughs> you know, no, I, I can't remember if I'm 77 or 47. Yes. Anyway, something You're like just that. Just two years older than me. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> now look how good you feel. Yeah, you no, it's amazing. Yeah, like from my neck down, it feels really great. Yeah, so. Yeah, honey, you'll be okay. Um, you'll be okay. And you got a lot of love. Everybody loves you. Big uh, kisses. Thank okay? You, thank you. I love you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Happy, happy birthday. All right. Thank you. So I appreciate you. I appreciate you. And I appreciate all you guys. Thank you for being here on Tapping In with Gary Spivey. And so we got all kinds of cool stuff going on, but the energy on the planet is a little crazy. And, and so uh, you want to go to your highest you, your highest vibration. And if you go up to your highest vibration, you guys are going to feel really, 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 really good. And if you get down below it, you're going to get beat up like Jeannie did this week. And so anyway, who we got? Let's talk to people. I just want to talk to people. Let's go to Natasha's iPhone. Natasha's right. iPhone. They put down their dog yesterday. Oh no! So she got beat up. That was got. She got beat up with something. That's terrible. iPhone. All right, Natasha's iPhone. Unmute yourself. Natasha. Hey, girl. Hi. I'm so sorry. I lost your pooch. What's your pooch's name? What's your Mo. pooch's Mo? What was Mo? Mo? I talked to you like a couple weeks ago about right. her tail. Right. And she had, you had thought it was cancer. And we finally made the decision. And it's just been like, it's mm -hmm. so hard. Like, it's like mm -hmm. losing a, a family member. Yeah, well, your 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 dogs are your family members, and so it's totally like that. And so let me let me just clear off what I see, okay? Um, and so, you, you know. Mo's like a, I don't know if Mo in heaven is a real strong dog or if Mo here was a real strong dog, but Mo looks like a, a, a little, you know, a, a little strong dog. What kind of dog was it? He was a pit bull. Oh, a pit bull. That's what I see. Like a little, you know, like I thought it was a bulldog of some sort. Wasn't sure. But but she, I, I see. Uh, and when I, but I, see, I see her on the other side and, um, she's already got her little hobo package. The hobo package means that they'll come back and be your dog again. <laughs> okay. And so it's like a little hobo pack. It's like a little thing of, of their stuff. Right. And, uh, and, and it's on a stick. And when I see that vision of a dog, that means your dog will come back to you if you want your dog to come back in this lifetime to you. Uh, and it's really simple. You find a litter of puppies and um, Mo just don't want to be a little weak dog. So you can't make Doe a little, you can't make Mo a little, a little wimp. You know, you got to get another pit bull or another bulldog or another something. And so, so that's strong, but, but put your hand over the puppy's heads. And when you find your hand gets really hot, then that's Mo. And that's how you'll know. You'll just be led. Um, and so, but I, I see Mo uh, really excited, little tail going backwards and forwards because, um, um, Mo really wants to come back and be your dog again. Would you take Mo back and let your let Mo be your dog again? Yeah. In a heartbeat. Okay. okay. Ask God. Just say, God, can I have Mo back? God, can I have Mo back, please? Uh huh. You got really hot. Feel it. You got really warm. You got warm on your face. I see your whole body getting warm. There. 
Okay, go find a litter of puppies, put your hand over the head until you get your hand hot. Okay, simple. Yeah, and then you got my back. All right, thanks, honey. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. That's so cool. Bye-bye. Oh, good luck oh, with Big, big yeah. hugs to you. Yeah, that's rough. That's rough. You know, I, I you know, I, I'm always making jokes at putting family members to sleep instead of the dog. No, I can't say that. <laughs> Let's say that. It slipped out. Anyway, you know, the dogs are kind. The dogs just put up with you. The dogs don't care what you do. They just, they just love you. They just love, 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 love you. So anyway, so, so who we got? What we got going? Okay, let's go to Jessica Zimmerman. Jessica Zimmerman. Okay, Hi, Jessica. Jessica. Hi. Hi, Jessica. Wow. Hey, girl. How are you? What's your question? What's oh, happening? you know, I um, I just turned forty, and so Me I had too. to have. Me too. <laughs> anyway, go Happy ahead. Happy birthday. Thank um, you. So I had to have, you know, the annual mammogram and they found a little, they call it suspicious, whatever. So I had to have a biopsy yesterday. So I'm just trying to see what you see and make sure everything's okay. You know, clear everything out. Well, I, I, as I go to clear you, if, you know, when I see black, um, black is, is usually breast cancer. Um, and when I see gray, it's usually like a fatty tumor or some of those kinds of things. Right. Yeah. Uh, and I, I see gray. Oh, okay. So, so, so um, hopefully that's correct. Yeah. Uh, but go on through the process and then all the procedures and everything, you know, cause it's nothing to play with, but, yes. but that's what I see. So hopefully that works out good, but your hands got pretty hot right then. So yeah, my that, whole body. My yeah. Face. You felt that. Yeah. So that lets me know that that's, that's the truth. And so, but, but go, go through the process. Okay. I will. And so, Looks good though. You thank know. you. Love you. Happy don't, don't birthday. Be, hey, no. thank you. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Have no okay. fear. Fear brings on all that stuff. You know, how can you, you know you're going through a mammogram, you got a biopsy, you know, in the oven. How do you not be afraid? Right. And so uh you you ask God to get rid of your fear. And so you just say, God, God, angels, 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 get rid of my fear. Get rid of my fear. Okay, now I see a big old white ball of light going down into your body you i got, feel it see and you got really dizzy feel that crazy mm -hmm. dizzy thing uh those the reason you got dizzy is because you had some fear dimensions uh you had some little black holes where your energy was spiraling backwards and now you don't so there we go and now you feel kind of high and kind of yes. like my whole head is like yeah yeah like really happy and so yeah. different feeling okay cool. good luck honey you'll be thank right. you appreciate okay. you jessica Oh, it was cool. Who else we got? Michelle, you look really great tonight. You, you're oh. all done. You're all done up because you're not. Dean's not with you. Oh, you're funny. Look at Dean's virtual set. <laughs> Except for you, Gary. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. See Dean's virtual set. Isn't that cool? I um, love it. You. Such a nice I'm background. In, in Gary's dining room. That is not virtual. That looks so <laughs> nice. If I touch that candle, it will burn my hand. So that's a real candle. <laughs> and here's, here, I'm going to prove it. I'm going to prove it. It's really simple. Here we go. Uh -oh. <laughs> Ooh, you should take us on a tour yeah, of your house. I love the virtual background. It's not virtual. See? That's Gary. <laughs> it, took a minute. it took a minute to get here. We are. Anyway. <laughs> you guys have such a nice house. I miss it. <laughs> I'm going to have to come back visit. It's all decorated for Christmas now. Oh. All right. Well, the next person, honey, if you want to type it in, we're going to go to the hands that are raised. Let's go to Elisa and Thomas. I'm back. Hey, Gary. Welcome <laughs> hey, back. There we are. I look like Hollywood Squares. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Hey, girl. How are you? Hey. Hey, Elisa oh, and Thomas. Thomas. Hello. Mm -hmm. I was going to go to the hand raise real quick. Okay. Unmute yourself. Hi. Hey, there we go. How's you and Thomas I doing? How are you guys doing? Good. Good. We've been going up to heaven and exploring ultimate heaven and different areas of magical heavens. What do you want? How's to say? that going? It's what's going the coolest? Really well. Oh, good. What, Thomas, what's the coolest thing you've seen seen lately? Um, that would mm, stop giving me hard questions. Um, uh -huh. There's so many cool things, though. It was 
There's yeah. so many cool. Yeah, that is kind of hard to say. What's the coolest thing in heaven? Well, Heaven's heaven. Yeah. Right? I'll tell you the things that I think are the coolest is we went to El. We saw the elves. Right. And we saw we've seen the um, fairies and we've seen um, the what are the underground. Oh, there's these little uh, dwarfs. dwarfs, but dwarfs are not small. They're huge. Thomas, when we went, we had armor because the elves gave us um, a, a, a crown. It was a crown uh -huh. to give to the dwarfs. But the dwarfs, Thomas is like, he, he said, they're like 10 feet tall. He's like, they're taller than us, mom. And I was like, uh, oh my gosh, but it was that, so cool. You know, those, that, that sounds, you know, that, that sounds absolutely crazy, but I've seen this. And it's not, you know, and it's re it's really crazy. The, the first time I saw, uh, you know, tree spirits, like little elves, right? Mm -hmm. and, and so this was a little different type of elf than the one you're talking. Uh, I was with a friend and, and I was uh, having a midlife crisis. And, uh, and uh, I was um, um, uh, with, with my friend at a, at a spiritual retreat and she was just... Uh, riding down the road. I wanted to show her Larry Hagman's house, which is at the end of the street. And, and so, so anyway, um, and, and her name is Rhonda and, uh, and Rhonda said, can you see them? And I go, what? And she goes, they're in the trees. You see them. And this was a very magical place in Ojai, California. And, and it's known that fairies and tree spirits live there in in this beautiful magical place called Ojai, california where i live part of the time and and she started pointing to these you know in the trees and, and there's these beautiful old curly oak trees and 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 um she says there they are oh my god right and i'm like oh god she's crazy and so so and and then i thought about all the stuff i expect people to see right i'm seeing this and that you know i'm seeing demons i'm seeing god i'm seeing angels you know and i'm going why would i think she's crazy so i thought i'm an idiot right so i i look she says look where i'm looking and i saw everything she saw and i got into that dimension uh and ojai has some very magical vortexes that are very uh heaven on earth and like ultimate heaven um i became like a bazillion times more gifted um when i moved to ojai california and so, uh, it, because it was just such a, a, a magical vortex in the upper valley there. And so, so these things that you guys are talking about and you're experiencing with this ultimate heaven, you know, cause you have the keys and Thomas does got the keys to get in. Uh, and so you guys are really seeing all these things. And so it's really crazy. And, but, but every, everything is responsible for a certain type of light, but you're, you're, you're tapping into a very whimsical, very happy 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 light and so mm -hmm. hats off to you it's beautiful yeah it's great <laughs> so that's good that's really it's good been, it's yeah. been a lot of fun so we wanted to wish you a happy birthday too oh, oh thank you thank is you is your birthday actually today today yeah hey happy birthday yeah. My, i'm december too but i'm the day after christmas oh well happy birthday <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday coming up i love it i love it well yeah so um our my, or my school has this this it's like a wildlife uh center in west virginia yeah and the it, it's really fun and it's so unique for my school but um the person in charge she's named Vinny, and she recently passed away oh um so and so she was this sort of a teacher but a, a, she was the director of that center so it was, it was an interesting position, right. but it, we were really sad. So we went to heaven and we saw her. Oh, nice. Um, yeah. But basically we were just wondering, um, cause now that the wildlife center, it doesn't actually have any other leader. And she devoted herself for what, like 40, 50 years, 38, 38 years. Oh, 38. Her parents built some of the properties there. So wow. she's been teaching there for 38 years and it takes so much devotion because I mean, it's kind of remote. Right. So, and, and we were wondering what, what's next for that wildlife center. Well, she tells me, I'm talking to her and she says she is glad you care and she appreciates the fact that you can see her. Uh, and uh, she's, uh, she, she says you not only have to be a director, but you have to be a cheerleader. Uh, and she says that there's two people coming that are going to replace her. Um, and one of them is uh, a director and the other one's a cheerleader. And, and so, and she said, uh, as long as everybody supports them, uh, she says she thinks they're going to do a better job than her, which is impossible, of uh, course. Exactly. But, 
but she uh, she loves you guys and she appreciates you so much. Uh, and there's a, a a book that she wrote. She wrote like a part of a book uh, that was never published, but she's got some writings that she she wrote. Uh, and you guys could do something with it if you if you could talk them out of it and get a hold of it and read it. That's what she's telling me to tell you. Okay. Okay. So, so you got to find you, the book. Gary. Okay. Okay. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> hey, she Happy birthday. You hey, thank you. See you guys. See you, Thomas. Hey, Lisa. Thank thank you, buddy. Oh, hey, girl. We're oh. back to Michelle. Look at you. Sure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is it my turn? No. Jean, Jean, she's really looking good tonight. I tell you, oh. you're not in town, and she's all <laughs> done up. She was yeah. in Nashville all day today, sightseeing yeah. or something. <laughs> Have you been singing country songs, honey? You've been singing a little country music? Absolutely. Are you become my <laughs> daughter? Or what did you say? What did you sing? I love it. I love all the music here. Oh, do you? Are you have you been listening to really some country yeah, music? On the, on the radio. I don't know oh. what the radio station is, but yeah, my Butter sister. Boyfriend. Boyfriend. <laughs> nice. This Mostly is Christmas crazy. music, though. I love yeah. it. I love Christmas yeah. music. I love Christmas music too, and I and actually I, I'm very fond of a, a a lot of country people, and 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 I grew up with country music, and I grew up I grew up my dad played in a bluegrass band in North Carolina, and uh, he played in a very popular bluegrass band that always won all the awards at the fiddlers conventions and things like that, and uh, when I was a kid I used to play a big old doghouse bass, those big giant bass things, bass fiddles, and I had to stand in a chair and I had to tape my fingers up with duct tape because the strings were so so abrasive to your fingers. Uh, but that's how I learned how to play bass, you know, was one of those things. So, but with bluegrass music, yeehaw. And yeehaw. you're so good at the instruments. I love, I love a little bit, A little bit, a little bit. I used to play a lot, but but it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's a lot of fun. And, and Nashville's the greatest city. Every time I ever visited Nashville, I always had a great time and so we always had great turnouts you know big rooms full of people I mean, it was just the best in the world every time i'd go there and so uh anyway so you keep on having fun and dean's down here he's just uh bored out of his mind but uh <laughs> i'm glad he's with you for your birthday though <laughs> there we go yeah he's been working hard so anyway who we got who are we talking to okay, cool. thank you um so let's go ahead and go to mihaela morenci mihaela sure. thanks for being so patient all right the best way to get oh to my Maryland gosh. North Carolina. Oh, hey, Mahela. Hey, girl. What are you doing? Oh, unmute yourself. How are you? Hi. Yes. I'm I'm good. Excited. I'm myself. How are you guys? I'm good. What am I'm I doing? I'm, I'm decorating, decorating the house. Me too. <laughs> Me too. I'm going to show you a little bit what we did here. Oh, look at it. Oh, there we are. Wow. That's nice. Nice. <laughs> Is that your Christmas tree? That's a Christmas tree. That's a. Her name is Janet. She has a name. <laughs> that's a great idea. That's, yeah. a great, that's a crazy idea, but it's a great idea. I love it. I love it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so, so what's your question? What's your question tonight? Oh gosh, where should I start? Um, give me your best one. Good? Give me your give me your best question. Just pretty much. Can you look at my health again? Mm-hmm. Your thyroid is a little dark. I'm just okay. clearing a little. I'm clearing a little darkness off your thyroid. Mm -hmm. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let me get rid of that. There we go. Now then, feel your feel your sinuses open. You feel that? Yes. Yes. If you remember, I work with that doctor, the you know the homeopathic. So I'm still taking those, you know, um, supplements from him. Right. And you, you said may, that you may have to go to a strong, you may have to go to like a, a, you know, you can go Eastern medicine, Western medicine. You may have to go to Western medicine for your thyroid um, to, to get it to straighten out. I can just see what it's doing, you know? And so whatever he's giving you is not working. And so it, it either works or it don't. And I don't feel like it's working and it's beating your system up. And so I, I peel the darkness off. We'll see what happens, but you might need yeah. some, you know, your thyroid changed a little bit and your feet are incredibly hot. Right. And so mm -hmm. I feel that. Uh, so I pulled the yes. dark, but I think that you probably will have to go to, to Western medicine to get all better. That's what I think. And it's so, just when I do my lab work with the Western medicine and then they're like, Oh, it's all fine. It's great. It's great. Everything's fine. Do so they don't 
medication. You have to do it. You have to do a time study. Uh, yes. with an do it with an endocrinologist. They'll do a time study and I think they'll find it is not okay. So that's what I say. Okay. Oh, great. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you, Happy honey. Birthday. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Big kisses. Okay. Big kisses. Welcome. You too. You Bye. Okay. Who we got? Who we got, guys? Oh, thank you. Let's go to Calvin Wong. Calvin Leong Wong. Hey, Calvin and Aaron. <laughs> All right, Calvin, unmute yourself, please. Okay, got it. Thanks. Hi. Hi, Gary. Hey, buddy. How are Happy you? Birthday. Yeah, Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, there's my child. See the see my child? <laughs> it's like a little white, white me. <laughs> Blow it out. There. <laughs> there. Good, good, good. And so what's your guys' question? How are you doing today? Oh, uh, well, okay. I, I think yeah, well, I wanted to kind of um, ask you about what happened yesterday. Yesterday, uh, I have a, a battery battery uh, generator, right? For, uh, and I put it in my garage next to um, a freezer because we tend to have a lot of blackouts. So what happened was um, I noticed the display was off. So, I, so what I did was I turned it back on and the thing just popped and the smoke came out. And then, oh, then there was that would be that would fall into the not good category, right? <laughs> that's right. Right. And then I thought, okay, maybe, maybe my, you're not very mechanical. Have you ever thought maybe that shouldn't be your job? <laughs> well, it just plugged right. in. I didn't do anything. I just uh -huh. turned sure. It on. So I okay. unplugged it, and then I tried turning it back on, and it, it popped again. And now it was like a really bad smell. So I get really paranoid with these things. That means it's catching on fire. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah. And so that means you're burning down things. It's made out of a lead acid battery. So what I did was I. I just shoved it outside the garage. And I was wondering, uh, this might be a silly question, but uh, did some of that smell, was that like to toxicity get into me or do it? Is that uh, causing some issues with me or I don't know? You see anything? Well, I know you have sensitive lungs, right? Yeah. And so, and so um, no, no, I don't think so. Okay. I, I think you're okay. I think you're okay, but I can see what it is. Okay. And so uh, basically you almost set everything on fire for real. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah. Yeah. And, and so there was um, something was wired backwards is what I see. And, and so that's, that's what's going on. Is it wired and, backwards in my electrical in the house or is it the, the or is that the, the unit itself? Uh, both. They're wired backwards for each other. And so somehow that's just not wired correct. So you've got to, yeah, call an electrician. <laughs> there you are. Wiring. Yeah, yeah, because that's that's what's going on. That's what's going on. Uh, but here, let me look at your let me look at your look. No, no, you're good. You're fine. Yeah, there we go. Can yeah. you clear me too? Uh, of course. There we go. There you are. You got real hot. Feel it. There we oh, go. Yeah, sweating on my feet. <laughs> Yeah. And so, so a, a lot of what, what happens is when I'm talking to you guys, I'm invoking this big God spirit that came in earlier. Uh, right. And, and for some of you guys that are just tuning in, you want to ask for your big giant God spirit. And so this is going to give you a strong enough spirit to endure the, the negativity uh, that's kind of boxing it, boxing us up every, every, every week, <laughs> you know? And so you want to just ask for your big God spirit and then you'll be able to get right through it. And I see you guys are doing that. Uh, so that looks good. And I see you taking a, you're going to go on a little drive, a little trip. Where are you going? Do you know where that is? Um, no, I don't. Yeah. When do you see that? The next year? Yeah. And so whatever it is, you've just got it plant in your head, but you'll be able to go. And so obviously the COVID thing must change around you guys to where you feel good about that. So that's what I see. Okay. okay cool. Thank you. Gary. Thank you. Happy birthday. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Take care of my child there. <laughs> you know, your dog is actually my dog's cousin, right? I'm trying yeah. to remember. He's how a little more clingy lately. I wonder what's going on. Uh, the dogs can actually dogs are a little more clingy. My dogs are a little more clingy because they uh, they can see it when when there's a lot of dark energies darting around. Uh, they feel that. And so that's what it is. They just feel the energies and what's going on. And so that's it. I see. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Cutie pie. Anyway, take care. See you guys. Thank you. Love you a lot. Oh, God. So what, what have we got going? Well, let's what go up? to Mandy Betts. Mandy Betts. This is probably our first time on here, I think. Mandy. Hi, Mandy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi. It is my first time on here. Oh. oh, hey, girl. How are you? What's your question? Well, happy birthday, first off. Hey, thank you. Thank you. You're thank welcome. You. Um, 
Well, we've talked a little bit about this before. Um, my ex-husband is... Oh, right. He's sexually abusing my kids. Mm-hmm. But now he's... um. Like he put spikes in the road and I went to go drop them off the, um, last weekend. But I, I, I saw them, so I got out of the way. Um, but now he is um, threatening to shoot me. And um, I'm just getting really worried that the justice system isn't going to do anything. <laughs> so I don't know what to do. I'd call him again. I would just call him again. Call him again. You know, and, and it looks like I, I see you having a conversation with... Um, whoever the powers that be there, you know, the cops. And, but I see you having an in-person conversation, honey, and just yeah. explaining to them, you're pretty convincing to me right now. And, you know, and I realize that this is really traumatizing. And I, re yeah. I remember reading your situation and it's absolutely horrific. Yeah. Um, you know, and um, I see him getting into ultimate trouble. Uh, <sighs> because of, it feels like for, because of what he's already done, yeah. Um, and, and so is that pending now? Yeah, there's been, I don't even know how many CPS cases and detective okay. cases. Um, there's been three more phone calls. Recent one was um, my son's dentist called in to CPS because they found oral abuse on him. Right. And so I just, so, I'm just seeing, yeah, this is, you, you got one of the worst case scenarios. Yeah. And so what I'm doing is I'm just putting a lot of light around you, um, you know, and uh, as for your big God self, see, God, give me, give me my big God self, please. God, give me my big God self, please. Okay. I heard your luck just changed. Oh, thank God. And your, and your feet got hot. Your feet are really Yeah, I'm like hot. sweating. <laughs> yeah. And so as for your big God, as for the big God self for your children. God, can you give me... Uh, give my children their big God selves, please. There we go. Now your sinus is open. You turn red. I see you, you know, uh, really hot. And so, so you can really get protection, honey. If, if you, you can get spiritual protection if you ask. And so really it's very powerful these days. Uh, and everybody, everybody that's watching this and everybody that's ever going to watch this, I want you to put your hands up and do just what Lisa Prichelle's doing right now and send you light, send you light. I see her up and you know, she want to do that and just project all the light and love to you and your kids to be safe. Um, and, and, and to stay safe. And Thank so you. there we go. Yeah. And I see now I got rid of a bunch of demons uh, that were around everything. And so, uh, he, he finally, he, he, he really feels invincible um, yeah. and, and Very arrogant. <laughs> right. And so, uh, but sometimes they get so invincible that all of a sudden they're not. And so that feels like where this is right now. And so that's what I see. So I mean, good luck with everything. We're here if you need Thank me. You. Okay. I'm right. Thank here. you so much, Gary. Hey, love, love you. you. I do. You take oh. care. Take care. Everybody, <laughs> everybody's presenting. Everybody's projecting all the love to you. And, and I see this changing in about two weeks. So there's a crazy thing in two weeks where things change uh, way in your favor. So there we go. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome, honey. You're welcome. We're all with you. We're all with you. And so, wow. You know, so there we go. So none of us have any problems, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And so, so a lot of times we'll, we'll see things and, and experience some of the problems that people have and you realize wow i don't have any problems you know and so there we go so but we'll still talk we'll still talk to other uh, people about their problems so who else have we got okay, we okay. Go? let's let's go to kathy much is it machete met much i keep forgetting how to say that name kathy hi kathy hey kathy unmute yourself please all right hi gary hey girl hey what's your question Happy birthday thank you Thank you, thank you. Oh, my husband's sitting with us today. Oh, good. Good, good, good. So, hey, good, really good. What's your tomorrow, question, honey? Tomorrow is 38 years ago that his father um, called his ex-wife, his father's ex-wife, and shot himself in the head. Right. We, we would just like to see if we can help him get to heaven if he is already there. Mm -hmm. It's Robert's father. 
Yeah, I see. You know, here's what I see. I see him and he's around a really ugly building. I don't know if that's a barn or a shed or so. I don't know where he is, but uh, it's it looks like an. What? Where would that be? Well, when he did that, he was in his office. Where was he? Uh, office okay. supply. Where he worked. Oh, the farmer's supply. Uh, uh, oh. No, uh, office. Office, office supply. supply. Okay, because yeah. it's just an ugly building was what I see now. I may even uh -huh. be empty or not there, but it's it's really, um, I can see it. Um, yeah. And and so he's still there. Okay. okay? And so, and so um, you would want to call his name. And well, so, yeah, just do it really loud so I can hear. Yeah, just call his name. Okay. And so, and call him like you called him. You call him dad or daddy. What'd you call him? Okay, move a little close to the computer so I can yeah, hear you. Awesome. Yeah, there we go. Just so I can hear you, because if, if I can hear you, he can hear you. So call it, call him like you would call him. Dad, when you get on. Okay, there we go. Okay, he's he's responding. He's looking around like kind of crazy. Like, where are we? Where are we? Okay, just tell him I, I'm invoking angels that are going to help him out. Okay, and I see him coming down, and just 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 tell him to look up and take the angel's hand. Look up and take the angel's hand. Tell him, yeah, I'm sure. Do it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's tell him to tell him do it. Tell him to do are it. You taking, are you taking the angel's hand? Yeah, he's stubborn. There we go. Okay. Now he reached and got the angel's hand. Now tell him to take one step into the light. Take one step into the light. Tell him to take one more step. Take one more step. You can do it. There he goes. There you go. Now you got him. There we are. Woo. There. Is See he, how hot you got? You got really warm. I am really hot. Is he, is he, is he going to heaven or is he yeah. on his way to heaven? He just yeah. Yeah. He's going up. Yeah. I just seen him go up. He didn't get on the wrong elevator. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Even though you might think that. No. Yeah. They're always surprised. Like, but I see him Does just he, going. Well, he was under the influence of alcohol and he took his own life yeah. 38 years ago and left behind not just me, but younger children. That yeah. Never got to meet him or never got to, you know, experience him. Yeah. Well, he was, he was yeah. just, what happens is suicide demons grab people and they just do that crazy thing, you know? So there's not much thought in their heads when they do it. Yeah. You know, they just do it. Oh, he was quite a character as it was. And <laughs> he started me playing guitar. And today I'm, I'm an accomplished guitar right. player. I'm, well, he, all the, I'm on Facebook and YouTube. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's a real out for me. Oh, so without, oh. without him, I would have never started. Oh, okay. But, well, I, can I tell you the name of my Facebook group? Yeah. It's called Any Guitar Player That Jams. Lean, lean into the computer so I can hear you real good. It's called Any Guitar Player That Jams. I've got about 24 can, can you repeat that? Can you repeat that? Because you're closer to the microphone. Any Guitar Player That Jams. Okay. And that's my. I'll type it in there, Gary. That's okay, good. Yeah, put, that's, that's a great Facebook. idea. Put it, put it in the chat because I'm hearing every other word. All right. But anyway, you did your father a big favor. You got him up to the light, which is good. Does he have anything he'd like to say to us? His... He can't say anything. It'd be like he died a minute ago. No, wow. this is no. Yeah, he he just now in his world he died a minute ago. Oh, and so wow. when you when you're earthbound, you're hung in the moment of death, which is horrible. Oh, you're hung in the moment okay. with your brain shot out, you know? And so, and so now he's up there. So you did him a big favor. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you. Happy, hey. birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, see you soon. <laughs> there we go. Oh God. So who we got? Who we got? Well, let's go to some new people. So let's go to January Falcon. January Falcon has her hand raised. So what? hi, January. I hope I said that right. <laughs> Right. Hey, girl. Hey, I saw you a minute ago, and I wanted to talk to you. What's your question? Are you serious right now? Yeah, I am. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm so excited right now. Oh, my I'm gosh. I'm excited, too. I'm excited, too. I hope I can help you. What's your question? Oh, my gosh, Gary. I've been listening to you forever, and I just want to say thank you. First of all, happy birthday. 
Hey, um, thank you. <laughs> it's my brother's birthday and four of my friends. So it's amazing. Wow. Yeah, right. And, you know, every my claim to fame is it's Walt Disney's birthday as well. <laughs> so wow. he, was pretty, he was pretty creative, right? And so anyway, wow. yes. So, so yeah so what so what's your, yeah so what's your question honey <laughs> um i just um you know um i'm just i can't i usually bounce back from things and i just been in, stuck in a rut for a long time and i have two children two boys i raised by myself right and, um and i just want to be a better mother and i was just wondering i mean I, um i want the best for my children and they're and i just i just want to hear what you can say to me to help my life be better at this moment and to be better okay. for my children. Okay. Well, first of all, what you need to do is ask for, because if you ask for it, it didn't quite go in and you want to ask for your God self. You want to say, God, give me my big God self. God, give me my big God self, please. Thank you. Okay. And there we go. And now see, now you got hot. Feel it? Yes. Yes. Very hot. <laughs> very hot. Okay. That will get you above the dark energies and it'll help you get in the zone. Uh, your biggest thing is you can stay on track for a minute and then you go off track. You right. stay on track for a minute and then you go off track, right? Yes. It's very frustrating. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, now you'll be able to stay on track. Okay. Okay. Great. Uh, and so that's going to, you're going to get the ability to focus and, and be able to pull off what you need to pull off. One of your children is super creative and one of your ch children is very pragmatic, you know, so you have a practical child and a creative child. It's almost like two different universes. It, right? it, yes. <laughs> for these kids, but they're both great kids. How old are they? Oh my gosh. Um, the oldest one is 12 and the younger one, the, um, the practical one is nine. Oh, good. Okay. Well, so they're, they're, they're real sweethearts. And so I just see them doing really well in life. So I'm going to tell you that. So I, I see them both. I think they'll both do really well because they like money. Okay. Oh, so, wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah so they're going to, yeah. So they're going to do good. And I just cleared away all the darkness. Um, now, when I cleared you, uh, I want you guys to, to um, ask God for the spiritual gift of a sword to crack through the dimensions and and so just just take the sword there we go and okay. imagine a dome of darkness above your head it looks like black glass and you're going to hit it and it's going to crack and now it cracked off you okay, <laughs> okay. And, and your sinus is open and your feet got hot feel that oh yes <laughs> okay now there's another dome of darkness above that one. You want to take your sword and everybody else can do the same thing. And this will really help you guys crack it, crack it. Okay. Crack off Thank that you. darkness. And now that dark, that dome of darkness went off of your heads. Everybody's they I heard everybody got it. Good. Great. Okay. Thank you. Sky Bye. Carter. Come here. And see, okay. now you're floating upwards. Okay. Oh, and my so goodness. now you floated into the rapture heaven and I see God. them and that's okay. That's okay. They're going to get it. They'll get it. If you get it, they empath it from you. And then I see you getting, I see you getting dipped in, in this holy water energy and this rapture heaven. Okay. Uh, see, now look how good that feels. Oh see? my God. You're right. Awesome. And so, mm -hmm. Yeah. And so that's going to heal you and everybody else is watching this. will get this. Okay. And so oh, there wow. you go. And now they put a crown on your head and now you're, you're just going to be fine. You'll be fine. You, if yeah, Once you float you up and, and this rapture heaven is what religion has been. Christianity has been talking about for ever. Um, you know, in the final days, you're going to float up in the air and meet the Lord and the rapture thing. Right. Well, I, I'm surprised that really you don't have churches jumping up and down because they don't really realize that this is happening now. This is really going on right now. I mean, if you notice, the world has changed. Different things are going on. You know, we got to stay home. We got to do this. We got to do that. There's this crazy pandemic thing running around. You know, so there's a lot of stuff happening uh, on the planet that's different. But now you you floated up to this rapture heaven. I, I see you getting all the gifts from there. And honey, you're going to be fine. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. Can Sky right. and Carter say hi to you really quick? Yeah. If that's okay. Sky, yeah. can you come and say hi to Gary Spivey? This guy, this is Sky. Hey, buddy, how are you? Hi. Yeah, good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, oh he's very God. gifted. Hey, he got the crown on his head, and yeah, oh your other little your other little fella got the crown on his head too. And so, right. and hey, and he can see it. You actually actually can see spiritually. You got a crown on your head. Can you see that? Can you imagine it? 
Yeah. Can you help me? Yeah. Yeah. He can actually see spiritually. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's really cool. <laughs> Notice how warm your hands got. His hands got really hot. Feel that? He got yeah. really, really. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Yeah, you can see spiritually. You can see all kinds of stuff. And so oh, I see you being able to see your angels, see God. You know, you're going to help a lot of people. You're really oh, cool. Yeah. Scary. And your brother and your brother has psychic dreams. He has dreams. He wakes up and he has all these little dreams of he's psychic and he picks up on things. You guys are a trip. I'd have you guys walking through, seeing through walls in about two minutes. There you go. <laughs> Good luck. Good so luck. Guys. For all, all right. that you do for me and everybody. We appreciate you. Thank hey, you. I appreciate you. Good luck, honey. You feel good now. Happy birthday. Say happy Thank birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. Yeah, happy you birthday. Right. Thank you, everybody. Hey, you got, hey, you got you. so much. You got so much light in your house. I'm gonna, that just feels really good. There we go. Thank, Thank you, guys. Gary. You're welcome. Guys, guys. guys, my nephew's name too. <laughs> oh, it is, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh. yeah. You got the cool, you you got the coolest names in your family, Michelle. <laughs> Space. The sky, storm, sky, rain, storm. <laughs> yeah, <a> bigger family. <laughs> That's awesome. Anyway, okay, so who we got? What we doing? Okay, so let's go to Courtney. Courtney uh, Summers. That's C O R N E A. All right, Courtney, unmute yourself, please. Hi, Courtney. Uh, yes. Hi. Um, Hi can you guys hear Courtney. me? Okay. Hey, Happy Courtney. birthday, Gary. Thank you, girl. What um, up? Um, I've gotten many readings from you before. I just want to thank you really quick because I had got a, a reading from you when I was struggling with fertility. And you told me to just stay focused and what I should do. And then I actually had my baby boy this year. So yay! Oh, yeah. thank well, that, you. Well, that's good. That's a big old bundle of happiness and joy. So I'm so happy. That's thank good. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so what's your, quest question what's your question? Was, um, I'm wanting to start my own uh, a business. It's a, a water store. Um, and I just want to see if it's a good idea. I was really set on a location, but my husband is a little bit skeptical. And then I end up losing out on that location because I it was kind of. Well, like, well, here's here's what it was. It was really meant to be, um, you know, during the COVID thing, it's a little bit different beat. Um, you know, uh, business has slowed down in, in a lot of ways, you know, and a lot of mm -hmm. things. I, I think it's perfectly led just postponed and okay. so and so that's really what's happening you know okay. it's just everybody's hit the whole button for a minute uh and then i see things coming back on and when they do uh i see even in the spring i see you being uh, quite happy quite busy you'll be so glad you didn't do it then uh then you all your dreams will come true they're just delayed uh oh, and so okay. So in, in the meantime, have fun, <laughs> you know, Okay. So, but I, but I see that. And so, and when I look at you, take that sword that, that uh, she got a minute ago, uh, ask God for the sword to crack the dark dome off of you. Uh, and so give me the sword to crack the dome off of me. Okay. Reach up and just whack, uh, whack away up there, okay. up it like you're cracking the sky. Okay. Now it cracked and shattered and look, your feet got hot. Feel that you see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't do I didn't do that. You did it. Okay. Uh, okay. And now you can breathe. Now your sinus is open and you feel like, oh my God, and I'm floating up. You see? And now yeah. you're floating up, going through that same rapture process. I see you going into rapture heaven. They're dunking you in the holy water. They're putting a crown on your head and your child spirit jumped into your body. And so, and there it goes. Now look how you feel really happy. See? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's how, there you are. And you're going, now you got a little dizzy. Feel that? Yeah. yeah, that's because all your dimensions started going clockwise because you had some that were going counterclockwise. And so now they're going clockwise if you're looking down at the top of your head from the sky. And so okay. you're going to feel really good. OK, so so it's really okay. important to crack that dark dome off so you guys can float up to this rapture heaven and and you'll you'll get all the gifts and i see all you guys getting a ton of gifts right now everybody's getting a gift i see you getting a gift of a crown i see a robe a golden robe around you see it feels like somebody put a coat on you feel that thing you, you just got really warm all over your body you see and so i just see this this robe it's got jewels on it um i see swords i see staffs i see so all you guys right now it's raining spiritual gifts and so as it rains spiritual gifts just grab your gifts and pull them in Grab them and pull them in. And that's all you got to do. And you're going to feel a lot better in the next minute. So there we go. Okay, honey. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Take care of yourself. Thank, well, thank you.
Oh, awesome. I like her. you, Courtney. Yeah, she's nice. There we go. Who we got? So more new got? people. Okay, let's thank you, Gary. Let's go to August Adamson. August Adamson. Hey, August. I don't see August. But, did she leave? Sorry, oh. yeah, I'm typing it in. She's not coming up. Okay. okay. Well, then let's go to a gentleman. Okay. Uh, Eric, carry, is it uh, Carosiello? Carosiello? <laughs> oh, no. Sorry, Eric. Uh, uh, unmute yourself. Hey, Eric. I would have botched your name. Not that bad, but I would yeah. <laughs> anyway, Hey, Eric. Hey, buddy. How are Hi. you? Hey. I'm okay. How are you? Happy birthday, Gary. Hey, thank you. Thank you. What's your question, buddy? Well, um, been struggling a lot, you know, this, this, this whole COVID thing, um, uh, my entire industry is, is completely decimated by it. I work in, in the entertainment industry and, um, live events and rock and roll and TV and, you know, theater and whatnot. Um, I recently lost my wife. She passed away. I'd like to know that she's okay. And I feel like I just have this dark cloud over me constantly and I can't seem to shake it. Yeah. What city are you in, buddy? What city are you in? I, I'm, I live in Fort Myers, Florida. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Here, I'm just going to clear you off. Um, yeah. You, you kind of do have a black cloud, but it's really black discs. You know, this is a certain type of thing where it, it's like a black cloud over you, uh, but it it's a, they, they look like black discs made out of black volcanic rock. Hello. Right. And so, yeah, those, okay. and so, and so I'm going to crack all these off you. Okay. And so, and there we go. And I'm just pulling your higher selves out of there. And I see you, I see you getting tons of light in your body uh, and in your brain. You've got a super creative brain. Um, and usually you can get above it. And you hadn't been able to get above it, which is baffling to you almost because you've got this super, super, super creative brain and you can usually get above any kind of thing that's attacking you. And so that makes sense to you, right? Yes, so, sir. Yeah. And so I just now cracked all this junk off uh, and, I, and I see you're backwards in your body and I flipped you around. There we are. See, now you feel now you can breathe again. See how you feel, it feels like you breathe. It, it, you weren't breathing. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and now I feel your feet warm. I see you breathing. Um, your heart's broken because of your wife dying. I want you to ask God for a new heart. Okay. Can you ask, ask God for a new heart. Just say, God, give me a new heart, please. Dear God, please give me a new heart. There it goes. Good. And it just rolled right into your chest. There you go. You're going to feel yeah. different. But you can feel it go in. <laughs> Got warm in there. And so now then ask God for a new brain. Give me a new golden brain, God, please. Dear God, please give me a new golden brain. Okay, and there it goes. And it just went right into your head. Um, and now I want you to ask for your big, giant God self. Just say, God, give me my big, giant God self. That's what you want to ask for. God, please give me my big, giant God self. Okay, there you go. And it just rolled right into you. There we go. And I heard your back. Okay. So you're going to find that you'll have kind yeah. of dumb. You've always had dumb luck, you know, like I've always had kind of just kind of dumb luck. Right. Uh, and I'll bump into more than most people can figure out. I mean, it'll just kind of come or, you know, whatever things happen, but you, you have this, this, you've always had kind of a, a luck about you to where you would just be there and things would work out. Um, now you got that back. You'll find you're, you're, you're back in that zone. OK, um, and so you just got to say, thank you, God. And that's all you got to do. Just say, thank you, God. Thank you, God. There we are. And so feel how you feel warm all over a different feeling. I do. Thank yeah. you, Gary. Hey, you're welcome. Been, you're welcome. I've been waiting a while to, to be able to speak with you. God bless you. Hey, you're a wonderful. Well, thank you're a wonderful you. human being. And, and uh, a lot of people love you. And I think you're just an amazing person. Well, you're very sweet to say that. And it makes me tear up <laughs> because you, you actually mean it, which is great. And so, but you, you have magic, you realize how much magic you have and just go back to being your magical self. And you'll get a bunch of phone calls in the next couple of weeks where things fall into place and things start clicking along. Uh, that's what I see. 
and, and it'll happen. It'll just happen to you. You know, how about my up. health? Can you see anything into my health? Uh, you'll be okay. As long as you go for walks every day. Okay. That's what I see. You just got to go for walks every day and drink a lot of water. That's what. I okay. See. Okay. All right. Thanks, buddy. Hey, God take care of you. you. All right. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And so it was really cool. I could see all those things going. And so, and it's really wild when I was watching him get his spiritual gifts, guys, uh, they started just coming in, you know, from every direction. They just kind of rolled into him uh, and uh, it made me high. It made me feel really, really good. And so, because I can see what will happen and see these days, you guys can all get above whatever's messing with you. You just ask for those gifts. And I see, I still see, this is one of those, those uh, days where um, it's raining spiritual gifts. So just take them in, be aware of them. Tell God, thank you for your gifts and ask for more gifts. Just God, give me my gifts and I'm going to be able to do some good with them. And I'm going to be able to do some other people, some good with them. And so, and, and you guys really, really will, you'll be able to get above it, whatever's going on, COVID or no COVID, whatever it is, you're going to be able to, to get above it. And so, uh, It'll be, it'll be good. Who we got, Michelle? Who we got, oh, Michelle? Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you I heard so me much. talk. I heard me talk. Somebody's unmuted. Hold on. Somebody's unmuted. Hold on. <laughs> Next person will be. I was having deja vu. I was having deja vu. <laughs> you got to find an unmuted person. Find an unmuted person. Okay. Is that How about now? Oh, there we go. Okay, great. Let's go to John Neal. John Neal. Thank you, thank you. Okay, John, unmute yourself, please. Oh, just kidding. Hi. Hey. Hi. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Where are you? Hey. Hey. Um, what you well, I'm not John. This is my dad's Zoom, but I'm Alyssa. Hi. Oh, Alyssa. Hey, Alyssa. How are you? Hi. Gosh, I always see you. I oh. always watch you. Oh, that's cool. Well, what's your question, honey? What's going well, on? Okay, so I started watching like at the beginning and like I started crying a little bit because like you explained my exact situation that's like really like complicated. <laughs> and um cool. Okay, so like on Thursday, like I was FaceTiming this guy that I like and he right. like just flipped out and was like just so angry. And it was right. really, really crazy because I've never yeah. like seen him that way. Right. And, and see what, um, but see, that don't mean it. See, that don't mean it's you. Uh, see, he I was know, just going. That's what I he, did. Yeah, it wasn't you. And so it, he was just flipping out because it was an energy on the planet. Uh, and if you were at the other side of that trade, it hurt. I mean, it was very painful. Right. Yeah. And so let me clear off the traumas that that caused you. Is that okay? Yeah, that okay? yeah, yeah. There, I just and peeled like, that back. And so, and what's your real question about it? What's your real question? Does a guy like you? Is that the question? I don't know. I think he does. But like, I just was like, I've been having a like really hard, like week, just like trying to trust him. Cause we always have a conversation of like, um, just like trusting each other. And like, I just like overthink everything. And I know. I it's, think you like, do. And cause you took the words, you stole my line. I was going <laughs> to tell you, I was going to tell you to, to stop. Uh, overthinking and 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 so instead of talking about trusting him just trust him okay. yeah yeah and because you're driving him a little crazy and him want to pull that off you and i and know he told is your mom in, is your mom in the car with you by any chance uh she was i don't know where she went my dad's with me though oh okay yeah sometimes you pick this you you, you know you do that backwards and forwards with your mom i see and so and oh so <laughs> makes sense <laughs> and so i'm gonna clear yeah. this up. I'm going to clear this little passive aggressive thing off you and you're going to feel a lot better. There we go. There we go. There we go. There yeah. we go. There we go. Ask for your big God self and say, God, give me my big God self, please. God, give me my big God self, please. Okay. There it went right into you. Look how hot you got. See? Yeah. You'll be fine. And you'll, you'll okay. see that everything will go along and you've got a big smile on your face. And I see you I getting just... your, I see you getting your child spirit back too, right then, which will give you your sense of joy. That's yeah, because make... I've been freaking out, like, because he's just been acting weird, and then like I've been acting weird. Well, let me clear. Well, let me. Yeah, myself. that's a passive. That's a passive aggressive thing. Let me clear him off. There we go. He's easy to clear. He's a good guy. I like no, him. No, he is. Uh, he's yeah. everything. Like I asked for God. Like when you say like, 
like God bring me my soulmate, like that's what I do every time. And like right? I've been like really impatient, and then he just showed up one day, and it was really <laughs> weird. Here we go. Well, everybody could take lessons from you, so that's perfect. I see him <laughs> acting better. He'll act a lot better. I got rid of two or three demons around his head. He'll feel better. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Take care. Take care. Wait, do you want to see my dad? Yeah, sure. How's your dad? Oh, there he is. Hey, dad. <laughs> How's it going? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good. Anyway, you guys look great. Have fun. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Feels like, Happy birthday. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It feels like you're going to eat something really yummy. What are you, are you, what are you guys going to go eat? I feel We're something. on our way to get ice cream right now. Oh, man. I wish I had some ice cream. I could feel it. I'm in patting you eating ice cream. Wow. Oh, my gosh. That's so oh. cool. Thank That's you. Fun. All right. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Bye. That's fun. I could taste the ice cream. Could you, Michelle? Michelle's an empath. Yes. I got all excited. I was like, oh, my ice cream. Yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. I love them. <laughs> I wonder which ice cream place they were going to. This is like the best ice cream on the planet. Ooh. Oh, my God. What the? Well, you know, we'll have to find out. Anyway, who we got? Who we talking to? I want to okay. talk to somebody eating ice cream. I know, right? <laughs> All right, let's go to Vanessa and Alfred. Vanessa okay. and Alfred. Alrighty. Hi, Vanessa and Alfred. Okay, Vanessa, now unmute yourself, please. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Hey, girl. How are you? Very good, and you? I'm really good. What's your question? Yeah, my question was, lately I've been having our job pass on our mind. Like, lately I've been switching from job to job. And I want to know if this next one will work out for me. And for Alfred, he's been offered other jobs, and we just don't know which way to go with things. Mm -hmm. Hey, Alfred. How are you? <laughs> hey, buddy. Good to see you. And so, um, well, here's here's what I think. I think um, I think the next one can work out for you. You have to be patient. Uh, you almost get there pissed off, you know. <laughs> right you show up at work alfred's telling you, yeah that's right no, but it, you know, you're right you you show up mad and so you're mad at your next employer because of, you had a bad one two or three uh, times back remember the bad one you had two or three times back that was really terrible right and so let me get rid of those traumas and then you'll quit being a crazy lady okay and so <laughs> And so there we go. I just pulled those traumas out of you and now you'll feel a lot better. See how you got relaxed? It's like all of a sudden you kind of could take a breath and relax. Yeah. Alfred, you'll appreciate this. Anyway, and so there we go. Much better. And so, but I, I feel really good. The next job could be a really good job, but you can't show up pissed off. You got to show up and be uh, a little conscientious of what you're up to and listen to what they're talking about and give a slight damn about it. You know what I mean? And so, because you've got a little bit of an, I don't give a damn attitude when you get to work. And so, and that comes from that old trauma. And so you got to get rid of that or you're just going to keep on bumping into walls and switching from job to job. And so, but, but I'd like this, this next one feels pretty good. It feels like there's, there's promise there and it could be really good. And with Alfred, he's got a bunch of stuff coming up. Uh, mm -hmm. Is there a really good friend or family member, friend like family? I'm not sure that's got a job position or something that they've told him about. I don't know if that makes any sense. Yeah, I was offered a position with the previous company that I was uh, working with before. Right. And it, it involves a lot of traveling. And mm -hmm. I travel as it is already. But this, the other job is more traveling. And I don't want to travel anymore. Yeah, I hear what you're saying, but I think you should take it. <laughs> anyway, it feels like a lot of money. Uh, could it be a lot? Is it, it more is money? money? It's a lot of money, right? It is, yeah. Okay. Well, money's kind of good. Yeah. And so, you know, and so I think I would really think about it because it, it really feels like that that uh, it has promise and then even more promise. So I see not only one notch up, I see like two or three or four notches up. So it's yeah. the kind of thing. And they really already adore you because you are good at what you do. Uh, and so I see that that they already uh, have some plans that they could slip you into that would be really promising for you. And they may not and they may not involve as much travel. So if you let them know, hey, I'm going to go do this for a while for you. But really, if you can get me in a situation that's a little not quite as much travel, I think they'll even tailor something for you. Mm -hmm. So um, so that's what I see. I say go talk to them. See, you know. Yeah. 
yeah, but it feels pretty, feels pretty good anyway. And so, and, and good luck. Be nice to your next boss, honey. Can I, <laughs> <laughs> right. does with him taking this job, we have to kind of do long distance relationship for a while. Is, are we gonna, is that if, if you're nice to him, you just gotta be nice. You gotta be nice. He's nice already. He's easy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the yeah. yeah, no, I think I think everything will be fine. You know, money's good, so don't blow blow off money. All right, especially right. these days. All right, good luck, good luck. Bye. You guys are fun. That was fun. <laughs> thank you, Vanessa and Alfred. Oh, that's really cool. Who we got? Oh, okay, thank you. Let's go to Denise Den and her daughters. Denise Den. De I hope I said that right, Denise. <laughs> hey, Denise. Hi. Denise. Hi. Hey guys, you guys are so pretty. You it guys are so beautiful. Good. We love. I love your hair. Thank you. <laughs> now Thank I'm. You. I'm gonna assume it is not natural. It is. Oh yeah, my whole family looks like this. It's really. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh! Yeah. Great jeans. Yeah. Great we, jeans. We get picked on. We got picked on a lot, but it's okay. No, no. <laughs> Happy yeah, birthday! Of, thank you, thank you. A lot of hair extensions, but anyway, I thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. And so, what's your question, guys? What's uh, your question? Got to Gary on his birthday. Um, yeah. Okay, so actually, my mom asked you a question about maybe like what a month ago. She went to the hospital that night. Um, I have. So I have. Yeah, I was in the hospital that night, and I think you. Can you? What did she you was say? off in South Carolina at college, and she had the fainting spells. It was right. her. You had mentioned that it was more of a pituitary thing instead of her Hashimoto's. And mm -hmm. now we're seeing an endocrinologist next week. So we wanted Good. to get with you to make sure that we're specific because you said it was very hard to detect. Uh -huh. Well, when I look at her, um, she's got two or three things going on. Uh, did you ever have braces? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, the braces cause TMJ. What is that? It means your jaw is unhinges on one side. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it may pop and you may grind your teeth at night. Uh, oh, and so, so, but I see that you have this TMJ disorder and that causes an inner ear thing. So she may get dizzy from that. Mm -hmm. and, and so do you ever get a little dizzy? Do you notice that at all? I mean, probably, but I probably just think it's like, Normal. like, yeah, normal. Okay. But anyway, I see that. And so that happens a little bit. Um, and her thyroid looks a little strange. Her adrenals look stranger. That's her, her you know, make, gives her energy or not. Um, all of her glands have, have a strange vibration. And when you see all the glands with a strange vibration, usually you can go to the pituitary uh, because the pituitary is right here in the center of your head, and um, it it's a little it's a little tiny gland, but it's the master gland, and and it tells all the other glands what to do. And if it's if it's a little goofy, for whatever reason, uh, that that can cause some real phantom illnesses, which you have a hard time really diagnosing what's up with her, right? You know, what are the symptoms? What are the symptoms? Um. Um, so like I have zero energy ever. You're right. What about that? That's the adrenals. Um, okay. Yes. And I have the attention span of a literal walnut and it, okay. so I always have to take, um, so I always have to take an ADHD medication to get literally anything done. Mm -hmm. That's a problem. Yeah. Cause I think that's well, bad for you. I, I don't, I don't really like those medications, you know, um, because they, and, and a lot of kids take them because that's what the doctor gives them well, because I think the doctor's stupid really. And so, but, <laughs> but, you know, um, because, you know, when I look at her, she's capable of really seeing, she's an empath first off. See, so notice how one of your hands is warm. This one. Really? Yeah. It feel that right. Yeah. And so I just, I brought light down to you. And as I brought light down to you, I felt your hand get hot. Okay. And mm -hmm. so, and so you're an empath. And, and so I brought light into me and, and into to my hand, you see this hand. And so you, and you felt your hand get warm. And now if I switch off, notice your other hand got warm. Yeah. I don't like that. That's, that's weird. 
<laughs> you feel it, right? That's kind of crazy. And so my point is, is you're an empath. You're empathic. That's what's happening with you. Um, and so, so with being an empath, if you stare at the teacher too long, you know how she'll go blurry looking? You can sort of see the air. I don't know if you ever noticed that everything goes a little blurry in the room. Uh, you're able to read what's going on with the teacher. So you're probably thinking the teacher's mad at her car, you know, her boyfriend upset her. What, I mean, whatever, you know what I mean? It's like you got all kinds of information coming in uh, and you're not even aware you do, but you're reading things. Uh, and so that will pull your attention span away from whatever is the focus of the day, whatever it may be. And so, and when you take Ritalin or Adderall or one of these drugs, basically it's speed. Okay. That's what it is. And, but if you're younger, how old are you now? 18. Okay. Well, if you're younger than 18, it, your body chemistry is that of where, what happens is you'll get kind of mellow, a little mellower, you know, instead of getting sped up, you kind of get slowed down a little bit. And, and this will take you off the vibration of your truth, which will take you off your vibration of be able, being able to be so empathic. And so that's really the only thing that happens It's not a big trick, but that's what's happening to really for real with you guys. And so, so I would say that the med, that medication is not a favorable thing for you. Uh, and it could even be throwing off your whole endocrine system. You see, so many times what you get from the doctor to make you better can make you worse. And so while you may be able to focus on one, on whatever it is you're trying to focus on, uh, you, that you may be not being able to see and empath everything you're empathing. So, so you, ha you have just, your, your picture is a bigger film. It's not a little short film. It's a big film. And it's a lot of information, uh, but I think you're a pretty amazing person. Uh, meditation will get you closer to focusing than medication. So if you meditate instead of medicate, you're going to find you'll be okay. Uh, that's what I see. And also those, those medications will burn out your adrenals and they'll, they'll do really, really, there we go. <laughs> that's kind of cool. Right. And so, and, and you'll be that person. And so, but I think you, I think you're pretty amazing. Uh, I'd be careful of the medications. I'd look at it a little, little differently. And, and I think it may be doing something. Let me run the scenario in my head, no medication. And how do your glands look? Um, you look tired, wore, beat out, and it takes you about a month to straighten up, you know, but in a month you would feel better, uh, a lot better. And in two months, you'd be better. That's what it feels like. And your, and your, your, uh, pituitary has a dark energy on it. It looks like black rock and I'm cracking it off. Feel how it got hot behind your nose. Feel how your nose got really warm inside. It's kind of a strange feeling your sinuses. Yeah. Okay. That's because I took the darkness off your pituitary gland. And so notice now how, look how bright her eyes got everybody. Look at that. Look how bright those eyes are. And so next time you look in the mirror, you'll freak at how bright your eyes are. And so, um, yeah, there's the pituitary <laughs> gland. Yeah. Who is doing this behind the scenes? Yeah. It's magic. Anyway, and so <laughs> the magic Nils Nils is the magic. And so, but uh, now look how bright her eyes are. Look at her eyes. Look, turn and look at your, your daughter's eyes. Everyone. Hey, see? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Different eyes. Okay. I got rid of the darkness. Let's see what happens. Okay. Good luck with that. Good Thank luck with you. That. All right. I'll see you soon. You're All welcome. right. Let me know. Let me know. That was crazy Oops. when your eyes got that bright. You Thank got you one guys. little question. She's, running, oh. for, she's oh. running for a pageant in January. How will she mm -hmm. do? Whatever perfect is. I see per I heard. I saw the word perfect. Perfect. Oh, awesome. We yeah. love that. Yeah. We love that. Thank you. Perfect is perfect. That's also, Michelle, I love you. You're so cute. <laughs> I, love you. I literally think you. you're the cutest human ever. Okay, Aww. thank you, Gary. Thank you. Right. Happy, love thank you. Happy holidays. Mm. Happy holidays. We're in the holidays, guys. No, uh, so yeah. Hey, Nils, you got a picture? I've got the house decorated. I took a picture of it. I sent it to you. I don't know if you got it. It's on. I think it's on your phone. Anyway, I've been decorating all week. I've been having fun. Anyway. There's Michelle. Ah! There's Michelle. Oh, there's my you guys are funny. <laughs> that's your angel that's looking particularly good tonight while you're out of town. Just... <laughs> she was in Nashville all day. Hmm. Here we go. She's <laughs> proud to be a coal miner's daughter. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Anyway, all right. Who we got? Who we got? Yeah, guys? Okay. 
Let's go to Ooh Seychelles. Seychelles, I think that's how you say his name. Ooh, it's O U, um, but it's under Slothy by Nature. <laughs> that's his screen name. Uh, Sloppy like, by Nature. I, I always make. I always have a messy bedroom. I can't ever get my bedroom straightened out. You know, I'm always like messing everything up. You know, <laughs> I, I need a little hey, bedroom mail. Hey. Happy birthday, Gary. Coal miners. Thank you. Thank you. There's Michelle singing Coal Miner's Daughter. <laughs> oh, cool. Anyway, so, hey, buddy. Hey, what's your question? What's going on? Uh, it's not really a question. It's more of uh, me suffering from um, uh, sinus pain, nausea, upset stomach. It's pretty bad. So I was wondering if you can help me with that. Mm -hmm. What you got going, you're so um, much of intuitive. You're very empathic. Mm, dogs having dogs yawning. He's like, oh, anyway. And so, um, <laughs> and and so, what happens is, and this is happening to all you guys. You guys got to be aware of this. Uh, the there this whole COVID thing. The there's a, a a really like a dark energy of snakes that's above the earth in the atmosphere. And these snakes are pushing down in this one dimension, which is where our health is, our physical health. So whatever can go wrong will go wrong. If you've got something, whatever your deal is, if you have back pain, you're going to have really back pain. If you have sinus issues, you're going to have really sinus issues. So whatever's going on, um, you may not catch COVID, but the, all this, this snake energy, which is illness energy that's all over the world at one time, as crazy as that mm -hmm. sounds, is pushing in on people. And that's what you got pushing in on you. Now I'm going to take this off you. Is that okay? Yes. Is that all right? Okay. And I want you to learn how to take it off yourself. Ask for the sword to crack the dark dome off of you. Just say, God, give me the sword to crack the dark dome. Give me the sword to crack the black stuff off of me. Okay. Reach up and grab the sword. It's a big giant sword. Wow. Really big. And, and yep. you got an, yeah, you, you can see, right? You can see spiritually, correct? I think you yes. can. Yeah. And so crack, crack it off the sky and, and kill all the snakes above your head. See those snakes flying everywhere? Yep. There we go. And you got a ton of them. What city are you in? Uh, Moore Park, California. Is that like Los Angeles? Uh, it's, close, it's, close, it's closer to Ohio. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Now I know where it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I just cleared this off. There we go. I'm helping you get it off you. There it goes. There it goes. Mm -hmm. And I'm pulling all these snake entities out of your body and I'm getting, there you go. Now you got clear. Feel the difference? See? Yep. Yeah. And your, your feet are light. Your body is warm. I see this brilliant yep. light. I see the sunshine go into your body. Uh, ask God for your big God self. Say, God, give me my big God self. God, Please. give me my big God self. Please. There it goes right into your body. And you already had a big God self and now you got a bigger big God self. Now your big God self is bigger than the planet. Okay. Uh, so now take the sword with your big God self and clear the whole planet, clear the whole planet off. And any of you guys, you guys can get these same gifts as we're going along. Uh, you can totally get these same gifts. And so that's a really big gift he's using right there. And so there we go. And now I feel really brighter and I feel like I can breathe better because you did that. And I know how spiritually gifted you are. You're a real freak of nature because I've read you before. And so, so you have amazing gifts and you have ancients that are working with you. And not everybody has ancients. Ancients is a different thing. Uh, and so I told you that before, probably, right? Did I? Did yeah. I tell you you had ancients? I did because I can see them around you. And so, and, and these, the ancients are, it's a whole different thing. They, they, they're like old um, kind of uh, Chinese wise men with a Fu Manchu kind of look, you know? And so, but they're around you and they give you, uh, they tell me they give, they'll give you all the light uh, and all the gifts you need. And feel you felt that chill go through you right then? A little bit. And yep. so, and so that's going to give you all the gifts you need. And I've seen all this darkness catch on fire and roll out of you right then. And if you listen now, listen to how quiet your head is now. Real quiet. See, different feeling. You're going to be fine. And you'll heal a lot of people. They told me to actually, oh, the, ancient, the ancients told me to tell you to go heal people. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. They said, go heal some people. That's what I heard. <laughs> you know? <laughs> 
so, so I don't know if this is related or unrelated, but I was in a Reiki group and a whole bunch of us got attacked. Um, is that with this whole snake deal? Uh, well, that's what it is. Yeah. The, the, with, you know, uh, people are getting beat up, you know, um, and, and that's what it is. And you can clear. And so, and, and you're right, you know, there's, this isn't anything against Reiki, your Reiki group, uh, because there's some amazing people in there, but your spirit, your natural spiritual gifts would be on uh, God, like a genius level. Uh, you know, you're like sort of a freak of nature with your gifts. And so, and, and that's just who you are as a being. And so uh, if you think of your whole Reiki group, take your sword and just clear them all at one time. Okay. Just do it. Yeah. You already did it. When you barely thought about it, it happened. Yeah. You know, you, you see, you barely thought about it before you could even raise your hand to do your sword. Uh, you already had cleared everybody. You need to just go be, play yourself in the movie. You're a rock star at this. I'm telling you, you know, <laughs> I don't tell that many people this because not everybody's got the, the you have a natural talent uh, of, of really being a healer. So go heal some folks. That's what I heard. You're And, and when I, anytime I see these ancients, they are far smarter than me. Okay. And, and so, and people who have ancients are very, very lucky and your spiritual makeup is very, very different, uh, but in a, in a really good way and on, on a planetary level. So you'll be able to do some big things. And so good luck with all that. Okay. And awesome. so, thank you. Thank you very hey, much. Good luck, buddy. Thank you too. Thank you too. I got high. I get high when I read people and they got ancients. It makes me really high in my head. I feel like, whoa, my consciousness has just got to expand. Grasshopper. You know, so <laughs> it was really, it was really crazy. It's like, oh my god, I got really high from him. Anyhow, uh, ask me questions. <laughs> we got. Okay. Thanks. Let's go to um um, a is it Ariani? A R I A N E. I'm sorry. A R I A N I. <laughs> Ariani. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Ariani. Hi. Hello. Happy birthday, Gary. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate oh, you. What's your, what's your question, honey? Oh, I'm so excited to be on today. It's my oh, first good. time. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Yeah. Thank you, Gary. I um, I just want you to see if there's any financial relief for me in the near future mm -hmm. i um i have family i'm from belize and i also have family in honduras and i would mm -hmm. love to help them they're in a difficult situation right now after right. two hurricanes and right and i so, just can't afford it well, well you just got to help yourself first right now <clears throat> and then later you will be able to help them is what i hear and so, okay. and they're going to need help then too. And so, but that, that's what I see. I want you to uh, ask for the spiritual gift of abundance. Well, first of all, ask for your big God self. Just say, God, give me my big God self, please. Okay. okay. Can you say that? God, give me my big God self, please. God says you're talking to me. Tell him yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. And so that means he wants you to talk to him more. You pray. Uh, all the time, right? Yes. You pray at God. Okay. Right. He wants you to talk to him. Okay. okay. Like, you, uh, Hey God, you know, it's me, I, you know, it's, it, it, it brings me so many memories because when I was having difficulty to conceive my son, um, to get pregnant, those are the exact same words that my grandmother told me, you have to pray and talk to God. Not and just go and pray, but pray and ask God. And talk to God. And talk yeah, to God. And so, right. And, and so, well, your grandmother was absolutely correct. Anytime God says, hey, you're talking to me, right? That means he wants you to talk to him more. Okay? okay. And, so, and there's power in talking to God. Did you have a baby? I did. Okay. He is six years old now. Yay. Well, there we go. Well, it worked out, right? It worked out. Okay, yes. well then you ask ask God now. You got your big God self, right? It's come, well. Ask again, God, give me my big God self, please. God, give me my big God self, please. There, it went into you. There, now you got a little dizzy. See, yes. different feeling. Okay, and now I, I see all your dimensions going the right way. Ask God for abundance. Just say, God, give me abundance, please. God, give me abundance, please. Okay, there you go. And that went right into you. 
and now you've got a big sunshine and now I see you glowing like crazy. Oh, and thank you, Gary. Yeah, no, feel how you feel different. Yeah, yes, thank yeah. God, not me. Thank God. Like, oh, thank <laughs> thank you, God. God. <laughs> and I, I see gold coins being poured down above your head and everybody else that wants these. And, and so it's, it's like the days of a day where gifts are just coming down. Not every day is it quite like today, but today's a day where a lot of spiritual gifts are just coming down, coming down. It's raining spiritual gifts. And I think it's going to be this way all through the holidays. And so there we go. Now your feet are on fire, right? Yes, I'm sweating. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And so sweating. everybody, I heard everybody got it. So I see all these gifts coming down to everybody. And Thank so you. I think you'll find you'll have luck. Good luck with with uh, finances. Okay. Thank you, okay. Gary. Yes. One more, one more thing. Do you see yep. my grandmother? She passed away in January. Oh, I saw her a minute ago, and I forgot to say hi. Yeah, she she was like, told you. No, she just she would talk to you and shake her finger at you. Yes. You know? Right. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And she made a real little eh, face, eh, 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 you know, she would be like, I told you so, I told you so, right? And so she's laughing and she says, I'm still oh. with you every day and I love you and I'm proud of you. Uh, so she's I right sent there. her a big hug. Yeah, and she heard you. She threw you down roses, okay? Roses are love from heaven. And I saw roses come tumbling down for one, two, one, two, three, and a fourth one, okay? And so this would be your family. How many people in your family? my father okay okay and so but i see she gave you four roses and these other people oh yes four roses in the house my mom her daughter my husband myself and my son okay all right so there's the four <laughs> roses sense. every time you hug someone you give them one of the roses and then they have the love and the blessing from heaven okay thank you yeah you're welcome good luck honey I like Thank you. you. I like you, you and love Annie. you. Oh. Beautiful too. So sweet. Didn't she? Glad we got her on. So cool. We're like a love fest tonight. Everybody's <laughs> feeling the love. Oh, there we go. Good. Oh, okay. What have we got? Let's go to, thank you, Gary. Let's go to Tammy's iPhone. Tammy's iPhone, please. Tammy's iPhone. Yes, Tammy. Okay, Tammy, unmute yourself, please. Dean, you look like you're at a fancy bordello. I didn't know my, <laughs> I, did, I wasn't aware my dining room looked like a fancy bordello. <laughs> it you does. Know. It does, don't it? <laughs> Somewhere in Asia. Yes. Or Plutus <laughs> Temple. Oh. Happy birthday. Hey. Hi. Hey. Hey, what's your question? Hello. Tell Mr. Gary what you'd like to know. Um, My twin is in heaven. We lost him at 18 weeks. And I would like to know how he's doing and what's it like. He's in heaven and he says that he gets a lot of toys. And so he likes it. He says they spoil him. Uh, and he <laughs> says that, that he's in a pretty garden with a lot of animals, you know. And so, uh, so is that your cat behind you? Uh, yes, it is. Oh, neat, neat. And so, and he has an identical cat in heaven. And so he has like a, a cat that looks like a twin to your cat. Is so, her name Bailey? No, her name is Ebony. Oh. Okay. So he's got, see how you're, you're feel how your back got really warm. You feel your back warm. Could you feel that right then? Kind of. Yeah. It's kind of a weird feeling, right? Yeah. He gave you angel wings. He gave you angel wings right then. And so you can feel them. See, it feels kind of, now move your, move your shoulders around. You'll feel them. They're kind of, it's kind of a different feeling. Feel that? Kind of weird, right? Different feeling. Oh, I don't think so. I don't know. You can't tell? All right. Well, anyway, you got, well, you got angel wings. He gave you angel wings. That's what I see. And okay. So, yeah. And he says you're going to do really, really good in life and make a lot of money. Yay! <laughs> Thumbs up. I like cats and be a cat person. No, oh, yeah, you like cats? Yes. Good, 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 good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And so, I just see a lot of spiritual gifts from your twin. What was your twin's name? Uh, Matthew. Oh, okay. And so, yeah, he says. I actually, somehow just figured this out a few weeks ago, but we after. 
we actually named him after a chapter in the Bible. Oh, okay. Great. Great. I didn't even notice. Oh, wow. Well, he, he said that he's uh, with you all the time. Tell him I'm with him all the time. And sometimes you wake up and you and he's, he says he sleeps around you or sleeps with you. And so, so he tells me that he's around. Okay. And so perfect. He keeps you safe. So there we go. Thank you. Hey, good luck, buddy. Good luck. I like your white hair. Oh, good. Thank you. It Thank you. Like ice cream. <laughs> right. I'm hungry for ice cream. I want some ice cream. Don't you? No. It literally yeah. looks like vanilla ice cream. Oh, well, I could. I, well, right now, I want some ice cream so bad I could eat my hair. So, anyway, <laughs> take care, buddy. Enjoy your angel. Enjoy your angel wings, okay? Okay, I'll, I'll just be in a different room trying to fly. All right. Okay. All right. Don't jump off of anything, but that sounds good. All right. Thank you so much. Hey, I take won't care. go and jump off a building. All right. I'll do that. Okay. Be safe. Uh, <laughs> he's so cute. Oh my God, Jeannie's showing her ice cream. Thanks, Jeannie. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're not helping. That's yeah. so funny. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, cool. yeah. Who we got? Okay, thanks, Gary. Let's go to Rosemary Magana. Did I say that right? Rosemary oh, Magana. One of my favorite names. I love that name. Rosemary, unmute yourself, please. Hi, Rosemary. Hey, girl. She's Hi, unmuted. Rosemary. I thought I saw her unmuted. She's unmuted. We just can't hear her yet. Talk loud. Oh, there's Madonna. Hey, Madonna. Oh. <laughs> Rosemary, you have to unmute your computer also. Hey, Nils, show me, show us the house decorated. I think I sent it. I think I sent you a picture. We've been working. We're stringing lights all day. We strung lights everywhere except in my hair. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> look, someone's showing you a cupcake on the iPhone. <laughs> oh, everybody, you guys are eating all this good stuff. Jeannie, you're not oh, no, there we are. Yummy. All right. Well, if we can't go to Rosemary, um, Ro Rosemary, we'll, we'll come back to you. Uh, let's go ahead and go to Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Look at her face. <laughs> <laughs> hey Nicole. <laughs> All right, Nicole, unmute yourself. Where are you at? Hi, Nicole. Oh, she's not unmuting herself. Unmute yourself. Mute. <gasps> oh, there we go. Hey Nicole, what's happening? Hey. What's your, hey, what's your question, honey? Oh my god, I can't believe I finally get to answer this. First of all, we talked like a month ago, but right? I never I never got to my grandma, right? Uh -huh. Um, years ago, I was just about to sleep and I heard her in my ear, like plain as day. It was the craziest thing. And she said, Nicole, can you hear me? I've been trying to talk to you. And oh. I like shot up out of bed and I'm pretty sure I like scared her away. <laughs> and, mm -hmm. um, to this day, I still, I, I don't know what she wanted. Mm -hmm. She just wanted to tell you she loved you and she's happy in her heaven. <clears throat> and she's doing really good. Um, do you have some quilts of hers or clothes of hers or any material of hers? What am I seeing? What is that? What am, what am I seeing? Hold on. Let me. Can you see that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So my grandma. Yeah. She has a doll she made. Oh, okay. Silent Night um, was her favorite song. Oh, okay. So wonderful. Oh, well, I just see. Well, she's she's uh, she's showing me that like the little material that's on the the little dress. You know, if you twiddle with that, if you just twiddle with it, you're going to uh, be able to get in touch with her. Okay, and so because she she whatever she was making out of she made a lot of little things out of material. Mm -hmm. You know. And so, but if you twiddle with it, you'll be able to tap right into her. That's what she's telling me to tell you. Okay. Oh. Yeah. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. And so but she loves you very much. She's happy to see you. Uh, and she says that you're beautiful as always. And she, she appreciates you. You know, she said, she says her heaven is really good. She's get, getting to hang out with her mother. Um, 
And so her mom's a cook um, and her mom's cooking up some big stew in this pot, big old pot. I see. Anyway, so that's what they're doing. Where were they from? Uh, uh, Sanborn, Minnesota. We okay. still have her family farm. I can, mm. we get, I get to go there in a couple of weeks. I can't wait. Yeah. They, there's a bunch of black, uh, old black skillets and black pots. And this is what they're cooking this up in. Okay. Okay. So you should ask them for one of the skillets. Okay. Okay. She tells you to, to take that. And so she's telling you to learn how to cook with that. She's laughing. So, <laughs> so take I'm care about of to call my aunt right now and ask her where that's at. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, they, they, used to, they used to have a big black pot too that she cooked big stews in. So that's what I see. Okay. Cool. Perfect. I love it. All right. Take care, honey. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, you know, so I'm actually really happy it's my birthday because, and now I understand why I kept on empathing ice cream. Ooh, yay. Hey, Michelle, this is an ice cream cake. Oh my God, I wish I was there. <laughs> All right, anyway, eat one for me, okay? Eat a piece for me. That looks so cute. Okay. Well, Dean will eat two, two pieces. Yeah. So, anyway, so I got an ice cream cake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Good job, you guys. Whoever got that for him. Yeah, that's, that's really weird. Good. I didn't know it. I really had no idea it was here, but this is perfect. Oh, well, yeah. you better hurry up and go eat that before it starts melting. Well, you know, I'll, I'll just eat it in front of you. It's not a problem. Okay, so anyway, good. I'll make all you guys hungry. I'll just empath you so I can taste it too. <laughs> all right. That's perfect. That's perfect. Here we go. I'm going to pull up Judy real quick. I'm going to Judy. Oh, good. Yeah, Judy. Oh, it's got chocolate ice cream and vanilla ice cream. Oh, my God. You're making me go crazy over there. <laughs> oh, that's, I, that's my weakness. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So, anyway. You deserve it. Okay. Yeah. Take your time, guys. I'm good. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no problem. No. Leave no. yourself muted. It's like, whatever. No. <laughs> Hello, that. Gary. This is your this is your birthday godmother that I'm granting you. Oh, look three, at you! <laughs> three wishes. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, and let's see. It looks like you got one already. <laughs> well, here you go. I'm gonna eat my cake. I'm gonna have my cake, eat it too, and not get fat. There's my three wishes. <laughs> How's that? That's perfect, right? There mm. you go. Mm. Well, you're looking good, fairy godmother. Happy mm. birthday. Yes, thank I come you. in once a year, every year, oh. to grant you those wishes. Well, thank you very much. I should wish. I, I want three. I want three more wishes. I could probably come up with better ones. If you guys only <laughs> okay. had, three, if you guys only had three wishes, you got to think that what would my wish be, right? Sprinklers, don't get me. You know. Oh, they just said it could be infinity wishes. Oh, there we go. I want that. I'll take so back the cake thing. I'll get fat. I'm already <laughs> fat. It's okay. It's already and so. Well, how about so, we send lots of love to you? Hey, did you get warm? <laughs> I I got warm all over. <laughs> Good, perfect, perfect, perfect. perfect. I'm, a, I'm actually buying time um, while they get ready. Is everybody ready? All right, Gary. You, oh. Your birthday fairy wants everyone to sing "Happy Birthday" to you. Oh, I'm you ready. Happy. I'll count to three. I want to unmute everyone. Hold on, hold on. Let hey, we're all gonna be unmuted together. Oh, that's gonna be crazy. We gotta figure out how to it, unmute everyone. Hold on. Okay. This could be crazy. I don't know. Give me a second. <laughs> and I want to say I appreciate everybody's birthday wish. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Gary! 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 Happy birthday, Gary. Happy birthday, Gary. We love you. The love back to you guys. Happy birthday. 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 Happ
<laughs> it sounds really crazy, Dean. There, there's when they sing, the computer beats come in at different times. Oh. And many more. And many more. There we go. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. You guys, I appreciate you so much. Happy birthday, Gary. Happy birthday. Birthday. And I look forward to seeing you guys next Happy birthday. right here on Tapping In With Me and all the crowd. And all Happy the birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, unmute yourself, Gary. Go tell Gary to unmute himself. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, I said thank you guys. Thank you guys. I appreciate you. I appreciate you so much. And I really, really thank you for everything and all the happy birthday wishes. And it was the happiest birthday of my life. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And I look forward to seeing you Wednesday. I'll be here uh, just clearing your energy, all you guys that are in the online club, you know, and I'll see you next week right here on Tapping In with me, Gary Spivey. I thank you guys so, so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you, I appreciate all you guys. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you.